Hi, Harry here. Uh, I'm going to talk you through a couple of things to look out for on your E20.7 um, with regards to the electrical side of things and the cabling. Obviously, these are bikes, but with uh, a few added um, cables and things to look out for. And as with any electrical equipment, um, you just want to make sure that cables aren't frayed or kinked and there's no exposed wire and everything's where it should be. Um, and so I'm just going to talk you through a few things to look out for um, to keep the bike running well. So we're going to start by looking at the motor connection cable, which is the first port of call that we look at with any problem with the power to the bike. Um, the motor cable runs from the rear wheel, from the hub, uh, into the controller here. Um, and it's on the left-hand side of the bike, running alongside the chainstay. So you'll see some cable ties here, keeping the cable close to the chainstay. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to snip this one so I can show you the connection. You'll see on this block here, which is the, the connection point, two black arrows that meet. Um, the first thing to look out for is that they are lined up with each other and that they're as close as they can be to meeting. They're never really going to get exactly to meet because they don't start at the same point, but um, as long as they're pushed in together, that should be fine. What you want to look out for is that they're not um, at odds or uh, there's a big gap between the two arrows. Um, that's going to make sure that the motor's running well and communicating with the display. Okay, so next up, uh, underneath the bike, we've got uh, various cables running into the, um, the controller box, um, one of which is the battery connection cable, which you should be familiar with from, from plugging the bike in and out. Um, first off, I'm just going to unplug this. You just want to make sure that that's not um, kinking at any point or hasn't been caught on something um, as you're folding the bike up or disconnecting the cable. Just check that every now and then that there's no obvious kinks or any uh, exposed cable coming through um, otherwise obviously you're going to get power issues with the bike so just checking that's okay checking there's no dirt inside this plug um, and if there is just maybe using something like a little brush um, or, a, or an, even an earbud just to clean that out you can also just check inside the battery itself and just make sure there's no dirt or debris up inside there that's going to be um, preventing this from making a secure connection And going back to our 20.7 original, which some of you uh, no doubt have, um, there's a few subtle differences, um, one of them being the battery connection cable, which you might not have recognised in, um, in the other segment. So on this, obviously, it's the same, same principle applies. We just want to make sure that there's no fraying or kinking on this cable and that the cable goes up into this um, metal plate without any exposed cables or um, any signs of obvious debris. Obviously this um, connection here can sometimes get clogged up with mud and things in the winter if you're riding a lot. Um, and so just disconnecting it and just giving it a clean, making sure nothing's stopping that from connecting securely um, is gonna help it in the long run. Obviously there's some more cables that go into the control box here. Um, they're generally always cable tied when they leave us, but um, you just want to make sure that all of these cables are neat and attached and not hanging loose um, where they could potentially catch on something. So you've got the motor cable obviously, which we've talked about, um, the battery cable here, and then there's also the uh, sensor cable, which is this thin one, which runs from the sensor, which sits on the bottom bracket. Uh, one thing to look out for on the sensor is just that it's pushed on tight um, towards the frame. Uh, it's just pushed in between the crank, the left side crank arm and the bottom bracket and you just want to make sure that ha hasn't ever come loose um, and sits nice and snug as it does there. The display cable which runs through the frame um, is rooted and comes out here and that uh, meets at the same point where the uh, sensor cable does and goes up into the control box. Again just making sure that's uh, nice and tight to the frame and isn't hanging loose and there's no sign of that fraying or kinking at all and then it follows the traje trajectory that the sensor cable does up into the control box at the bottom um, and just checking that those cable ties are still in place um, and that everything looks neat. While talking about the motor cable obviously the easiest test to do when not on the bike is the walk assist. If you turn on the display and hold down the bottom arrow the walk assist should turn on. That's just a good general test to see that the motor is working okay uh, and if there's any issue with that motor cable connection that walk assist won't work and you'll get an error message flashing up. So if that's working then you know the motor's healthy. So at the front of the bike coming from the brakes and the handlebar display you'll see these connection points at the top they're called Julet connectors and if I pull one of these apart, you'll see that inside there are very delicate little pins in there. 
uh, on the green one, which is coming from the handlebar display, um, there's a series of pins. And these meet up, uh, again, with an arrow, like the motor cable does. And you just want to make sure that uh, these are connected well, that the arrows meet up. Um, and if you do disconnect this, just make sure that the pins are nice and straight in there. Um, and when you connect it back up, uh, the arrows meet up as they do again there. Um, the same thing happens from the brake sensor cables. So on our handlebars, we've got the obviously the brake levers, and underneath the main brake cable there are the um, brake sensor cables. When you pull on the brake, that tells the motor to cut out. Um, so it's an important part of the bike. Uh, just a safety feature. And the sensor cable comes down here and meets here, and it has two red connection points, much like the display cable does, but just with two pins. And exactly the same thing, you just want to make sure that those arrows are meeting up and that the pins are nice and straight inside. With these connection points, you shouldn't really need to disconnect these. Um, this is just in case, for whatever reason, they do become disconnected and you need to reconnect them, just making sure that the arrows meet up um, and that everything's straight and that the pins aren't bending. Um, we'll keep these running nice and smooth. They are a bit stiff to undo um, and put back in, so a little bit of force is needed there. Uh, the front light, um, which is operated from the display, uh, has the same connection at the front on the new 20.7 Comforts. So again, you'll see the two arrows meeting up there. Um, if this gets caught for whatever reason and disconnected, same thing applies, just make sure that arrow meets up there. And back to the 20.7 original, um, a little change to the front of the bike. Rather than having the three connections that come from the handlebars with the brake sensor cable, you just have the display uh, cable coming through this cable wrap. So you shouldn't ever need to really um, check this connection, but if for whatever reason this gets caught and you're worried about it, um, you just undo a bit of this cable wrap at the front, and after about four or five inches, you should see the single connection um, from the display cable. So after just unwinding the cable wrap a little bit, you'll see the connection point here, and exactly the same thing applies uh, as mentioned before. Just checking that those two arrows meet up, and if you do have to uh, connect it back up for whatever reason, just make sure that things are perfectly straight and that the pins are straight inside there. Um, the brake sensor cables do exist on this bike, um, but they root underneath the frame and they go into the control box, so you don't really have to worry about the, um, the connections from the brake sensor cables. Uh, same thing for the front light as well. Um, the cable from here goes all the way through um, underneath the frame with the rest of the cabling and connects in the control box, so you shouldn't have to worry about connecting the front light. So in summary, these are just general health checks you can do on the bike. As with any um, electrical equipment, you just want to make sure that cables aren't frayed, and that everything's where it should be, uh, especially if you're riding off-road or um, riding through mud and rain, just making sure that everything looks clean and if you wipe off any um, excess mud and water at the end of a ride, it's only gonna help keep things running sweet.